I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. What's up guys, today we're doing another appearance mod. Uh, this one has no purpose other than looks. This antenna has been killing me since probably even before I bought the car. It just, just sticks out, like it's 2011. Why do we need an external antenna? My 2002 Camry had a, an antenna in the back windshield, like with the heater. Why, why is Ford like this? It's starting to like crack in a couple places. It's cracking and it has overspray on it. So, you know, not like the best condition. It's time for it to go. As you can see, this long part screws off. And if you want, you can just buy a shorty. It's probably, you know, half the height or something. But I'm not gonna stop there. Oh no, I wanna delete this whole thing. Just make it flush. I'm not filling it. This doesn't need a welder. You don't need paint or body filler. This is something anybody can do anywhere. You don't need special tools. Well, okay, you might need one special tool. But there's a place called Four Fields Garage, and they sold an antenna delete kit. Basically capped it off and made it real flush. Can't find it anymore, so I made my own. So I'm gonna link all the products I use down below. Personally, I have a Bluetooth adapter that plugs into the aux input, and so that's all I use. I just use Spotify. Rarely do I use the radio, but I enjoy radio now and again, so I wanna keep the use of it. So I did buy a antenna. Going off Four Fields Garage, their instructions are still online and they list out all the parts you need so kind of went off that got a different antenna just because it's cheaper i don't know if it's gonna work but um, i did test this already unplugged it straight from the silver box you'll see later and i still got reception it was terrible you know some stations were better than others but driving around i still got it so my thought is even with pretty bad antenna my reception still gonna be good at, again i just use fm so first step you just saw you just unscrew it lefty loosey i'd grab it right here and just but for this one, it'll be different, so I'll show you what to do. So, first things first, you're gonna remove this trunk liner. It's just a side piece. It, uh, there's a screw right up here. Mine's hand tight, it always has been, because, I don't know, used car. And then there's also a plastic rivet that you can use. Your plastic rivet tool removal tool, and just pop it out. Again, I've dug through this just to know what to expect with this video, and it's pre-molded. So if you just throw it on the ground, it'll still keep its shape. Just don't crush it, because then it might ruin the shape. This screw comes out, pull it out, and you'll have to tear up on this. That's what the piece looks like. Hold there, hold there. All the edges go under something else. So put this to the side. This is the panels we just took off. And right here is the silver box I was talking about that a wire plugs into. And this has a screw that's screwed onto the antenna base. The four fields garage directions kind of show this a little bit better. In my case, my tabs are broken, so I'm gonna take this off first. If your car was not messed with at any, the tabs on the antenna mast or antenna base should be fine. But I'm just gonna do this so it doesn't fall out because it is just held up by the uh, antenna mast on my car. There should be tabs, but those tabs are broken. So what I found was best for this job, socket wrench and a uh, Phillips head bit. I don't have a short enough screwdriver for this, but you know, just a Phillips head screwdriver will work. You may have to sit in your trunk to do this. I find it easier just to lay in the trunk, but you do you. There's that silver box. It's dangling from the wire from the harness. All you do is just pull it down from the antenna mast, and that's all that is held onto it besides the screw. You want to hold onto the screw, as we'll use it later, to remount the box. I don't know what the box is called, so I'm just gonna call it a box. So once you have the big antenna off, you'll see this has four holes and like a well nut, rubber expanding nut, whatever you want to call it. They do make a tool specifically for this. It's keyed for it. It's a uh, whatever tool. I'll link, again, that'll be linked below. I didn't buy it. I just bought some snap ring pliers from Harbor Freight for five bucks versus waiting on a tool that costs 20 bucks. It is stick it in either hole set just make sure they're across from each other. And then you'll do lefty-loosey just like everything else. And it may be hard at first. That's all you're gonna do. And it will take a while, so we'll fast forward to when it is out. So like I said, mine is loose. I'm just, I have my left hand on the antenna on the inside of the fender, so I can wiggle around. But since it's loose, it'll fall through. So I find it easier just to push it up and loosen it by hand. You're not really turning the black rubber, you're just turning the silver piece because it's threaded. As you can see, the inside of that is threaded. Uh, and then the black piece pops off. You can see the tabs in there. Mine are broken. 
and then this piece will just fall down. So this whole thing is what I consider the antenna. You have your jack, so make sure the jack you buy is just like this. Mine's a little bit different, we'll see if it works. And then the screw is right there. It doesn't have a nut on it, so don't worry about a nut falling off when you unscrew it. Another thing you can do is take it off here and then unscrew it if yours will stay up. But now all we have to do is, you know, find one that fills that hole. So in addition to the antenna I got, I got a bag full of these like plastic caps. They just snap into any hole. And uh, they came in from, I think it was like a quarter inch to two inch, five of each run. They go in by quarter inch increments. But on eBay, they have the Cobra Jet caps because, you know, Ford being cheap, they just put a regular panel on the Cobra Jet and then just cap it off with one of these. And so you can find these like in the trunk, like right here. It covers a, a nut that holds on the wing. Spoiler, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a one inch, so I grabbed a couple of sizes, but uh, the hole here is more like a D shape than a circle. So we'll see if it works. Sort of flexible, they're pretty stiff. Worst comes to worst, we'll just dremel a circle out and then just pop in a bigger size, you know, trace a circle so it's nice and round and then slowly shave it out and then pop it in. But you could also use like a drill, one of these, just use to drill a hole. So that's also an option if you didn't want to like slowly shave. I'd probably just dremel. So as you can see, this side is flat and then it kind of rounds out. And then there's this nice big circle with orange peeled paint underneath it where that antenna mask was. So that's kind of our working area. And you could, there's like a nice clean spot with all the non-peeled paint. Could also just be my car. It's like So obviously the bigger one is like the size of the mask, but can't go in the hole. Next biggest one, we're getting there. I believe this is the one inch diameter, but simple as that, it just pops in. Now is it watertight? I don't know, I'll have to test that and uh, make sure it's not leaking any. If I didn't want the orange peel, I would just do that, but I'm trying to make this as small as possible. But we'll worry about the water later. Let's get to the fun part, which is wiring. This is the antenna I got. It's just a sticky adhesive. Probably just put it somewhere like there, so you can tell where the rubber seal is. It should be like a pretty distinct line on your trunk lid. But I'll either put it up above the padding, or I may sneak it through to the windshield I don't know, I just want it simple, but if it is with the trunk, I'll just wire it with the loom here. Now that we have our box separated, you don't have to unplug it. If you do want to unplug it, you know, you just do that. It's a little push. This connector, moment of truth, pops right in. Um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the tip. It's just whatever this style of connector is, it'll work. So it just pops right in and you're good to go. And this is some circuit board. I don't know what it does. Strengthens the signal. Maybe it's a booster, but it's not important because it still works. However, you will need to buy a M6 by one nut. I had some laying around because motorcycles and this just screws on to the screw, you know, from the mast. What we're gonna do, there's a hole already drilled in your trunk area. Not the fender, the inner fender. Inner fender? And that's where we're mount this, so. Again, this is also in the instructions from Four Fields Garage. So the antenna was right there. And as you can see, we're just sitting in the trunk and I've now put it right there. So Four Fields calls for it to go right there in that hole. but. I decided to use one of these holes down here. Don't know what they're for. Maybe they're for like the subs that came with the car, like the shaker system. You can put it wherever you want. You could drill a new hole if you want. It doesn't really matter because this is never seen. It's another hole won't make it weaker. One of these holes and I just turned it 90 degrees and the wire is a little loose, but I could always like tape it or zip tie it. And then I wrap the new antenna wire around just to make it in line with this loom. Plugged it in, nice and snug. So this will all be covered up by the carpet and I don't think it, it'll be a pressure point. I did want to see if you could put it on the other side of this. I'm looking at it, you can maybe mount it on this hole on the other side. I mean, there's plenty of room. It's like a hand length or hand width. I forgot to show you, but I did move the silver box behind this panel. So it was screwed in there. I just moved it up 
I just felt it would be safer back there because if it's here, I might get pushed there. So, just wanted to update you because I forgot to put that in the video. But on to the antenna location. And I know this is like, I think it's 10 feet, 3 meters. I'll show you how to wrap all this up nice and neat. So after crawling through the trunk and looking at how this closes, you can mount it right behind here and not have any issues. Basically, this is all good. Now there's a hole if you just follow the speaker wires that'll lead you to the window since the speakers are on like this back tray beneath the window area. You can just mount on the glass, which I may also do because this is tinted, no one's ever gonna see. How would they know? No one's gonna know. So uh, then comes the issue, say, tent fails, kind of have to redo the wire. Okay, so after lots and lots of scientific research, that's the best place for it. Top of the window works, but I have to take off some interior pieces, which I don't want to do. You might want to do, and just put it right here on the shelf. Like even just laying it on the shelf, that would work, because it's just glass. But best place for me was right up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tuck it beneath this uh, liner, and then also around the wire, kind of beneath the, the liner, wrap around the loom, and then up underneath is when I'll make it neat and tidy. Yes, we'll be using zip ties. We'll probably be using probably some double-sided tape for the wire. If not that, maybe just scotch tape, see what works. Because it'll be hidden, so heck, you could use duct tape if you wanted. Don't use like super glue. Don't do it. Make sure you use like alcohol wipe or a surface adhesion promoter, whatever you have. I found just cleaning it with alcohol and sticking it on works just as good as anything else. So I'll stick it on, wire it up, and I'll show you the results. So, uh, I ran it under here and, you know, just chilling in the trunk, so, excuse me, but, uh, you know, I taped it up under the middle rivet, the bottom rivet on this liner, and then the wire goes over like that, this rivet, so it kind of keeps in place, and then I pulled it pretty taut, not tight, but, you know, got all the slack out, and coiled it around this loom that goes to, I guess the third brake light is all that's up there wrapped it around all the way down. And then, did that a bunch of times. You can see how I wired it, wired it above this loom because this loom is like snapped into the body. So it'll like hold it up. Wired it all along this cable down to the antenna and plugged it in. And then I got the slack and bundled it up, zip tied it. And there's this hole right there. And I said, you know what? I can just do this. Put the wire in that hole and nothing dangles at all. You know, it'll move a little bit, but I guess you could zip tie it down there and it wouldn't move at all. But that's how I wired it. Let's see how it sounds. Let's test the radio and we'll start with the country one. What do you say? Baby be my pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now I'll slow song sinks. Pretty good. And let's do the Steve. Not very staticky, all right. And uh, 99.3 is the one that's kind of rough for us. It's a uh, hit or miss. All right, staticky. So I'd call that a success, minimal signal loss on the radio end. And also, like I said, I don't use FM that much. Sometimes if it's just, you know, five minutes down the road, it's nice just to do the radio and not have to set up the Bluetooth. So you can see what it looks like without an antenna. Nice and clean. I think it cleans it up a whole lot. So here is what the plug looks like from the inside. I did have to add some silicone because I took a hose and sprayed it liberally with water and so a few drips did come through so I wanted to make that watertight so we don't have any issues later on down the road and I don't plan on removing this because I like the looks and function wise it sounds the same but just wanted to let you know I did add some silicone it's uh it's actually like shugu repair but all it is is silicone so if you have silicone stuff you can put it there let's put the liner back there we go, our trunk liner is in. Now we're all set. And you can see we uh, sprayed it pretty good. I had to lay down in the trunk while I got my dad to spray right here. And I said, spray it pretty hard with the hose because you know, that's how you wash a car. You want as 
much pressure as you can to make sure it's watertight completely. Because I don't know what rainstorm I'm going to go through with this. We got it all sealed up and uh, it looks pretty good. The only thing that bothers me is this orange peel right here. That was underneath the antenna. So personally, I don't think it's worth correcting just for that minuscule amount of orange peel. But who knows, maybe in the future I'll have it repainted and then we'll take care of it then. But if that happens, I just fill it and be done with it. So for, I think the bag of assorted pieces was like six bucks and the antenna was eight. So for under 15 bucks, this was a buy, I had to buy tools. So okay, under 20 bucks for everything. I think it cleans up the line a whole lot. Time will tell with pictures and proof is in the pudding with water. So I'll check back after a month, see if there's any signs of water getting in, but silicone was all good, so. You could drill a bigger hole and make it, it looks like a D, but you could drill a hole Make it perfectly round and then put one of these in. Maybe not have to do silicone, but there's no telling with that. So it's all wrapped up. I'm just gonna enjoy it now. So with that, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. If you hated it, let me know. Tell me down below. That's that. Take care. I'll see you on the next video.